Hey guys, what is up? My name is Cameron Phillips. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you some of my favorite Instagram techniques and tips for editing photos. Basically what I like to do on Instagram is that I am more of a travel type photographer things. I post some like LA lifestyle-y things too. I post some photos of me. My forte slash my theme on Instagram is like travel photos. So if you're into that, then watch this video. I hope you guys enjoy my tips and I will give you everything I can give you to help make you a better Instagram photographer slash photographer in general because the reason that this video is existing is that a lot of people think that Instagrams need feeds now and like themes. This has been a thing for the past couple of years now. Basically what a theme is, if you're really behind and not aware, it's basically where all your photos kind of have like a look and a feel to it and it kind of gives you like a category slash a vibe as a photographer in your Instagram page and people are attracted to this and it helps your page grow. So I'm not a huge proponent of like you have to make sure everything fits with the theme slash the feed but I definitely think it's important to kind of have like a vibe that you're going for you know my Instagram kind of has a lot of darker tones in it and a lot of higher contrast um, a lot more color I wouldn't say it's oversaturated but there's definitely more color I travel a lot thus this channel so I post a lot of those photos and with that comes a lot of color like gray destinations like when I first look at my feed here I see the classic latte photo, which I often feel like I always have a latte photo like visible on my feed. I have Monument Valley, which is a beautiful red object. Love it. I have more coffee, I have some palm trees, I have it of Thailand, then I have some photos of me, sunsets, nature, and this is pretty much what my vibe is. So in order to do this, I have a couple apps that I love to use. The first one and the primary one, you've probably heard of it before, it's called ViscoCam. It is a great photo editing app and it's definitely my favorite on the iPhone. This goes super convenient, it has like a little feed library that you have, you import your photos into there and then you can put your filters on and then adjust the contrast and like brightness and all the other like adjusting features of the photo. My favorite filters are HB2, A6, F1, and sometimes I dabble in the E's, like a good like E3, E2. A lot of those filters you had to purchase that I purchased. I think the HB1 and HB2 are free. Go check that out. They're, I think, pretty popular filters. HB2 is probably my predominant filter. When I'm editing a photo, like this latte photo, for example, I'll start with the raw photo, and then from there, I will go in and apply my feed. I just said HB2, but for this one, I feel like it's more of a... Maybe like an E1. This feels like a really good E1 photo because there's these orange tones in it. The biggest thing about Instagram and editing a photo is you guys feel what works with the photo itself and what the photo has in it. This photo has this beautiful rosetta on a latte in it and the beautiful orange cream up. You gotta pull that out. That is important. Once I put on my filter, I don't always put it all the way on because sometimes it's a little intense. Then I will go back to the adjustment section and normally bring down the, the exposure a little bit. Maybe like down one or two, it really helps pull out more color and kind of gives me those darker vibes that I go for on my feet. I'll then play with the contrast sometimes, you know, going up or down. Normally it's in the up, never really down, but sometimes if it's a really like heavy photo, I can bring the contrast down a little bit. Favorites of mine include grain. I love me some grain. I'll normally add three or four dimensions of grain to it because the photo always ends up less grainy when you put it into Instagram. And then I'll play with the saturation, normally bumping it up like one, sometimes two, sometimes not at all. Um, it really depends on the photo you're going for. And I think a really, what's really great about Visco is that you can see all your photos in the feed here. So you can see if they all look good together or not before you post it on Instagram. So like I said, I edited this photo with, a, with E1 versus I, my usual HB2. That's gonna cause these photos to look a little bit different. So you just kinda need to be conscientious of like how this will look on the overall like grand photo scheme. When it turns to me editing photos for my computer and for my Tumblr page, for my Facebook page, which the links are both below, go check them out. I will use Lightroom, which is an Adobe application, and it is phenomenal. I've actually downloaded these presets the Visco presets for computer onto the program. And that has really been helpful for editing photos and for getting that like look and that vibe to everything. So I'm super a fan of that. Um, I definitely recommend editing with Lightroom. It's a phenomenal program. And just some like general Q&A questions I get all the time. I keep all my photos in like a big library on the Photos application, formerly known as iPhotos on the Mac. And I have like a hard drive, it's like, two terabytes full of just photos. And that's my library, and then from there, I will take it to Lightroom and edit, or I'll send it to my iPhone and edit. But then everything I take on my iPhone, I predominantly just edit on the iPhone itself. So I think overall, my biggest tips for having a cool Instagram are make sure you're taking photos of cool things. Like an edited photo is only good as, as the original photo itself. So you have to have some good bones to the photo. The thing about Instagram themes is that it can be so broad. Like mine is, like I said, more like colorful, more travel-y. If you want to do all black and white, you go for it. If you want to do something a little more muted, maybe something with really high saturation, you know? These are the things that make Instagram personal and like an expression of your art and your photography. So those are my tips. That's what I do to edit my photos. And I'm pretty consistent with that realm of editing the HB2 and the E's and the A's. 
and it gives me my feed how it is today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for travel videos every single Monday and Friday. And I'll see you guys real, real soon. Next week is gonna be my Beyonce concert experience video. It's gonna be insane. I'm actually going to my first Beyonce show tonight in like a few hours. Anyway, subscribe. Love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.